I, I'm going to focus uh, here uh, in order to, to zoom in. And what we see when we compare these ancient samples to the current samples, to the current genomes, so what we see is that as, as shown before, we see a, a, a complex pattern of admixture in North Africa, but I want, I want to drive your attention to these ancient samples in North, in, in North Africa, these late Paleolithic and early Neolithic samples represented here in this orange color, that we see that this component is still present in, uh, in the, the populations, in the present populations in North Africa which means that although different migrations, different uh, gene flows have affected the region, have affected North Africa, they were not able to erase, uh, to erase completely the, uh, the, the substrate, the substrate, the genetic substrate that it was present at least in late Paleolithic times, okay? So we see still a continuity since uh, uh, late Paleolithic into the populations present nowadays, present nowadays in, in North Africa. And in all the simulations that we, we do in order to understand the, the genetic composition of North Africa, so on all of them, so we have to take into account some sub-Saharan uh, influence, but also this influence from uh, these ancient uh, samples, uh, which, uh, um, implies uh, a continuity uh, in the region uh, data. And I, 